G'day, my name is Rod Sherwin and I want to present you with two exercises that will help you in preparation for the VCE exams coming up very shortly. Now, what this video won't do is do the study for you. You still have to do that hard work. But what it will do is get your head in the right state so that you can do the work well, you can retain what you're studying, and so that when you're in the exam, you'll remember all that stuff. This will help with both of those problems. So the first one is about the overwhelm. You've got to do so much study to actually get ready for these exams. How do you get it all done? You feel like you don't have enough time to actually relax at all in preparation for these exams. So we're going to tap through different points on the body. These, body, these points help you relax. Just follow me along, tap where I tap, repeat after me what I say, and we'll see if we can release some of that stress and overwhelm so that you're no longer procrastinating and you're actually getting stuck in and getting the preparation work done. So start by tapping on the bottom of the hand, halfway between the little finger and the base of the hand. Tap those two together and repeat after me. Even though there's so much I need to study for the VCE, it's stressing me out. I acknowledge how I feel. Even though there's so much to study for the VCE, not sure that my teachers covered it all, not sure that I've got time to cover it all. And there's other things I want to be doing. I'd rather be playing games or listening to music. I acknowledge how I feel. Even though I'm stressed out about all the preparation I still have to do and the, and the exams aren't far away, I want to acknowledge my feelings and accept myself anyway. All right, come to the top of the head. Stress about preparing for the VCE. Stress about preparing for the VCE. And if you can, alternate between left and right hands, tapping on these points just at the start of the eyebrows. Come around to the side of the eyes. Stress and overwhelm at preparing for the VCE exams. How am I going to fit it all in? How am I going to remember it all? Come around under the eyes, tapping just under the eyes, alternating in. All this stress about preparing for the VCE. So many things I've got to remember. Seems so important to everyone that I do well in this exam. Come down the middle of the top lip. Stress about preparing for the VC. Everyone keeps telling me how important it is that I do well in this. It's stressing me out. The more stressed out I get, the harder it is to concentrate, the harder it is to study. I'd rather just do something else because I just can't get my head around all this. I'm feeling overwhelmed and anxious and worried and stressed. I find a couple of points just up underneath the collarbones, just tapping in here. Stress about the preparing for the VC exams. How am I going to get all the work done? Have I got enough time left between now and the exams? Reach around to the sides of the body and tap just on the sides of the body. Stressed out about these exams. After all these years of school, it just comes down to this one exam. Doesn't matter how good I've done that up till now, if I stuff these exams, it's all over. Cool, and then put palms up and cross one wrist over the other like this. All this stress about preparing for the exams. How am I supposed to do all this study? How am I supposed to remember everything? I'm not organized enough. I'm, I'm just procrastinating. There's too much to do. We're going to continue on into another round of tapping. Come back to the top of the head. Stress about preparing for the VCE exams. They're getting closer now. I'm not sure if I can get it, study everything I'm supposed to. Every time somebody tells me how important it is, I get even more stressed. So much to study. What if I don't remember it all on the day? Feeling stressed about preparing for the VCE. Will this silly tapping even help me relax enough to study what I need to? Will this remaining stress and overwhelm 
trying to get everything studied that I need to for my VCE. All the pressure on me to do well in these exams, making it hard for me to study, hard for me to concentrate. Even though I still feel stressed about preparing for the VCE, how I'm supposed to get it all done, how I'm supposed to remember it all, I acknowledge all these feelings in myself. This is a tough time in my life and I'm doing the best I can. Alright, now you might want to re rewind the video and do that a couple more rounds. Make sure you do the rounds down until you feel a little bit calmer about actually preparing for the exams. Now, what about on the day when you sit in the exams? Um, stress actually takes blood to the back part of our brain because we go into flight or fight mode. It's all anxiety and worry. And the problem with that is we need the blood in the front part of our brain because that's where our higher uh, thinking functions are. That's where we can remember stuff. That's where we can actually figure out stuff and do well on the exams. So these next few rounds of tapping will help you uh, when you're getting very close to taking the exams, even if you're doing them on the day you're taking the exams. Do these rounds of tapping and they'll actually help reset your brain so the blood is actually at the front of the brain where you need it to do well in your exams. So follow along again. Even though I'm stressed about sitting this exam, will I remember everything I've studied? It seems so important to everybody that I do well in this. What if I go completely blank and absolutely forget everything? I acknowledge all these fears within myself. Even though all my friends are pressuring me to do well, the teacher says I have to do well, my parents say I have to do well. I acknowledge all this pressure and this stress I'm under and the way it's affecting my body and my brain. Even though I'm stressed about taking the exams, not sure how well I'm going to do, am I going to get the attar that I need to get into university? I deeply and completely accept myself and all the stress I'm going through. Even though I'm petrified that I'm going to forget everything, that I'm going to make stupid mistakes, I deeply and completely accept myself anyway. All this remaining stress about sitting these exams. All this remaining stress about sitting these exams. All this remaining stress about sitting this exam. Stress about being in an unfamiliar environment when I'm doing this exam. Stress about having to watch the clock, will I have time to answer all the questions? Stress about remembering everything I need to do this exam. Even though I'm still stressing out about doing these exams, I acknowledge this feeling within me. All this remaining stress about sitting these exams. Sometimes I get even more stressed when someone leaves early. All this remaining stress, worry, panic even about sitting these exams. Even though I'm stressed about seeing these exams, I know I've done my best all year for preparing and I'm going to do my best now in this exam. All this remaining stress in sitting these exams, all the remaining fear, the way it affects my body, maybe it makes me feel nauseous, sick in the gut. What if I don't do well in these exams? What if I completely stuff up? 
Is my life really going to be over? I want to do well in these exams. I want to do the best I'm capable of. Well, the remaining stress about sitting these exams, well, the remaining anxiety, worry, fear, stress. Even though I'm still stressed about sitting these exams, I deeply and completely accept myself. I acknowledge all the work I've done and then I'm going to do my best in the exam. Even though some people think this will determine the rest of my life, I choose to feel even more calm and assured of myself as I sit these exams. Now again, previously, you may want to rewind this video, do a few more rounds of tapping. Normally you do five or six rounds, and then maybe you'll do it again tomorrow when the fear comes back up again. But you'll get to a point where you're able to focus. There will be still pressure in the exam, but that little bit of adrenaline that's left is a good thing because it'll actually sharpen your thoughts, sharpen your focus just enough so that you can do what you need to do, but not enough to stress you out. I wish you the best with your exams, and let me know how you go with this tapping. See you later.